We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined by Minister Jean-Philbert Sengimana who is the Minister for Youth and ICT for Rwanda. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about the new GEMTECH Awards that are being launched here at uh, the ITU Plenipotentiary. It's a, uh, promoting gender equality in mainstreaming and I wanted to find out about uh, Rwanda's participation in this. You're a gold partner in this. Why did you decide to get involved? Uh, Rwanda uh, deeply believes and actively promotes uh, the role of uh, women and technology in, in development. Uh, we think that a well-functioning society and sustainable economy needs to harness these two important components. Uh, as far as uh, women are concerned in development, uh, you will know that, for instance, uh, Rwanda promotes political empowerment of women because everything else depends on that and our parliament has the highest number of women, uh, which is 65% of the whole parliament are women. Uh, and when it comes to technology, we also believe that, uh, and, and it's part of our, our vision for development, our vision 2020, transformation that needs to happen not only in Rwanda, but across developing countries need to harness uh, technology. This is why, for instance, uh, our president is coming to make a statement at this uh, plenipotentiary uh, meeting, but also this is why we decided to be a gold sponsor of this award, because the GEMTECH Awards bring together these two powerful uh, concepts, and uh, Rwanda finds it very much in line with our development strategy. So what is your vision uh, for gender equality in mainstreaming in Rwanda? Uh, Women and girls constitute more than 50% of our population, and uh, it is uh, almost a self-serving interest to get them empowered and uh, uh, playing an active role in our society. But it's also an issue of, of rights, uh, which need to be upheld. It's been part of our strategy uh, from the recovery of the effects of the 1994 genocide in Rwanda to a point where Rwanda uh, has been the fastest growing economy uh, in, in Africa. Are you concerned that the information revolution might leave women behind, as in the Industrial Revolution? Uh, and what actions do you think can be taken to ensure that that doesn't happen? I, I would be concerned if nothing is done, uh, if women are not getting educated if discriminations and, and the education gaps that have been traditionally in place continue to, to perpetuate. And I think actions need to be taken far, uh, first and foremost at the very early childhood education uh, when uh, women need to have equal access to education as their, as their counterparts, when uh, technology need to be mainstreamed and embedded in education. And as you will know, uh, for instance, Rwanda is, uh, is one of the countries that have embraced the one laptop per child uh, philosophy. And we believe that this is going to actually uh, level the ground for both men and women. And if those action conti actions continue to be taken systematically and are part of uh, everyone's strategy, there is no reason to be concerned. But the truth and the reality uh, across the world is that statistics show that there is still a growing gap between men and women when it comes to accessing and harnessing ICT for their social and economic well-being. So Rwanda's participation in this award is at the same time a call for action for everyone in the global community to understand that it is extremely important and urgent uh, to make sure that these tools for productivity, for economic growth, for prosperity. These technology tools are in the hands of women and men. Some great words. Many thanks indeed, Mr. Sengimana, for being with us today. And uh, we wish you the very best uh, with your plans and your vision for the future in Rwanda. Thank you so much. Thank you.